Hey everyone, welcome back to The Tune Project. Today we're gonna to be learning a tune called Billy in the Low Ground. This is an old time bluegrass tune in the key of C major. We've got a standard form going on, A, A, B, B. And be sure to stay tuned for the second half of this video where we'll play it together at a slow, medium, and fast tempo. And as always, before we get into the tutorial, if you're not already subscribed to The Tune Project, I do put out videos just like this one every single week. So if you want, consider subscribing and also hitting that bell so that you can be notified each time I upload a new video. Now let's get into the tutorial. So we're starting on the G string and we are in the key of C major and we're starting on C. So third finger on the G string. So we've got kind of a little ascending arpeggio going on there. For the next phrase, we stay on the A string and we begin on a C natural. So a little back and forth going on there between the D string and the A string. Next, we start again on the A string. So making our way back down to the G string on that one. And for the next phrase, we stay on the G string starting on our first finger A. So same thing that we saw in the very beginning. Next, we start on a C. So similar to the second part that we had in the very beginning, where we also played those same notes starting on a C, except this time we ended on a B instead of a C natural. Next, we stay on the A string starting on our open A. So everything else is the same in that phrase, except we end on a singular C instead of a double C. So that is the whole A section. And if you were to play this in real time, you would go back and repeat that once more. But for now, we'll move on to the B section. So for this one, we make our way up to the E string starting on an open E. So you'll notice we had a little bit of a different rhythm going on there in the beginning when we went back and forth between our E and G, it was an eighth note to a quarter note. So we have that little figure twice and then we come down with our little descending scale. Next, the pattern continues. We just jump up a whole step instead of going to G, we go up to A. Notice we had our fourth finger thrown in there for that B, so make sure you're comfortable with reaching all the way up to that B with your fourth finger and bringing your elbow around if you need to on that one. The next half of the B section starts exactly the same way that it did in the very beginning, except listen for the eighth notes on the way down because they're a little bit different than they were the first time. And then that B leads us into our ending, which starts on A and is the same exact ending that we had in the A section. So hopefully you'll remember it this time around. All right, 
and then ending on our C, on our tonic there at the very end. And that is the whole tune. So as I mentioned before, we have an AABB form going on here. So make sure that you repeat each section after playing it once and then you can just loop the tune as many times as you need to to practice it. Also, we're in the key of C major, so if you're used to playing in keys like G or D or A that have sharps, make sure that you are familiar with the naturals that we have in C major so that you're not playing any sharps that don't belong. And then as far as the rhythm goes, we do have mostly eighth notes happening in this tune, but we do have a little bit of a rhythm change in the beginning of the B section like we talked about with the eighth note to the quarter note. So make sure you feel good about that and practice that rhythm with the metronome if you need to. And speaking of metronomes, let's go ahead and get into our play along portion of this video. So I'll start by playing the tune at a slower tempo, then a more medium, moderate tempo, and then a faster tempo for you to play along and practice this one. Thank you. 
much for joining me for today's lesson in learning Billy in the Low Ground. I hope you enjoyed this one. And real quick, I just wanted to mention, if you are interested in furthering your support of the Tune Project, I do have a Patreon page, which I always link in the description box of all of my videos. Everything from my patrons goes back into my YouTube videos so that I'm able to continue to create free lessons for YouTube. If you're not able to make a big financial commitment, that's no problem. I have different tiers and I also offer special little perks in return all the way from being added to my monthly newsletter to um, having you know, a private consultation or lesson with me. So if you're interested in that, be sure to check out my Patreon page via the link in the description box below. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Happy practicing.